Hello there, welcome back to my channel Atlantean and we're back with another OMSI 2 adventure. Today it's a pretty special one. We've had Studio Polygon's release of the Renown. Now this is a much anticipated add-on bus. It's payware, it costs $17.99. Link will be in the description should you be interested. Uh, I've got to say, it's probably the best bus they've made so far. So, what I'm going to do, as you can see, we're having a little drive here. No full route, just a quick drive. Whilst I read through a few things from the developers. So, this is a developer's forward message that comes in the PDF for the bus. The Renown is a completely new add-on for OMSI 2. With over three years in the making, countless new features and a new set of standards when it comes to vehicles. The Renown has been developed from the ground up using the latest LiDAR technology and textured and substance painter throughout to create the used look of the bus. After all, they have been in service 25 years. When we set out developing Renown, our intention was to bring every Renown product to Odyssey. Currently, three quarters of all real life variants are in, and in future versions, we aim to bring this to 100% of all real life variants so everyone can enjoy the iconic 90s bus for years to come. Not only will every variant be possible, everything in the Renown is usable. From opening the destination boxes to opening the engine bay to check if the engine is there. You can operate the Renown in OMSI exactly how you could in the real world. No stone has been left unturned, everything is simulated as correctly as possible. Almost 400 unique sound files have gone into the Renown. Engine and gearbox side, intricate sounds such as accessibility seats falling and cab door creaking when you're opening and closing it. The Renown creates a realistic feel with their atmosphere, all recorded with professional sound recording equipment. Hope you enjoy our latest product. Well, I've got to say it's absolutely fantastic. Probably the best bus for a UK map that's ever been released. So, the description. The Studio Polygon Renown is a low-entry single-decker bus body built on the Volvo B10BLE chassis by Roy Bus. Ballymena, Northern Ireland, in the 1990s. This product included a highly detailed rendition of the real bus. Over 50 unique Sevtas are available for the Renown, and with over 100 combined options, you can tweak the Renown however you desire. Also included is our latest update to the highly detailed ticketer as well as the brand new Wayfarer 3 ticket machine joining Collection 2. Brand new, never before seen features have made their way to the Renown. Adjustable mirrors being one. Now you can adjust the exterior mirrors of the Renown and the mirror reflection will also update with no loss to performance whatsoever. Furthermore, we've created our new dynamic shadow system whereby everything that should cast a shadow now does. You can see this in action in various places in and around the bus. When you turn your wheels the shadow on the ground will of course move and when you close the emergency exit the seat next to it will begin to cast the shadow onto the wall. Wow that's just brilliant isn't it? <laughs> I've got to say. Superb work by Studio Polygon on this particular bus. It's, I've watched a lot of the 
videos of other YouTubers in the beta test and I was impressed but it's only when you really get the bus yourself and have a look around and have a little drive that you realize this is top quality and I've got to say it is worth the 18 quid I mean the other buses on the website that they sell like the 400 MMC is like 13 quid and this one is dearer probably because it's new but you can see a lot of work has gone into this bus quite a few people involved with making this bus and I think myself it is worth the money now the names involved with this bus is developed by Reverend Seedle First Enviro Jack Bainton and BKG and these are obviously the developers in Studio Polygon so superb job gentlemen really good and also special thanks to Blocky Bus definitely not Aaron GZ11 Inside A Game R Inside a Gamer <laughs> Joe Dobson Leafy Greens Mosky Miles uh, Rudeer and Travis Lamoon for testing doing the beta testing so well done lads I understand beta testing is an important thing because I actually do a lot of beta testing for Star Citizen and uh, I know developers appreciate feedback so absolutely brilliant in the future I will be uploading videos where I'm driving various routes on the UK maps. I went to download the new liveries that are linked in the PDF that comes with the bus, but the download link seems to be down at the time of recording this video. So I had to use the basic demonstrator livery that come with the bus, but it still looks nice. As always, Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like, subscribe if you want to see some future OMSI 2 content of me driving this bus. I do use Toby Eye Tracker for tracking for the you know the head movement. I use a G29 steering wheel with shifter for the driving. So I like to treat it as a proper simulation. So if you like the cut of my cloth. Give me a sub and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody. Thank you.